tells us in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 3, to remember those in prison as if we were their fellow prisoners. And that instruction has been heeded by Florida Prison Ministries for the past 35 years. Founded by Frank and Maxine Barton, along with Malcolm Gordon and Hazel Gordon, Prison Ministries continues to be a vehicle that the Holy Spirit uses to reach the hearts of inmates around the state of Florida and beyond. The Spiritual Pen Pal Program continues to grow each year. In 2023, Prison Ministries had 800 requests for someone to write to them. Often the demand for pen pals is high because many of the inmates feel alone and do not have much communication with family members or friends. The Spiritual Pen Pals write encouraging letters to the inmates. Through this, they are open to hearing about the love of Christ from these pen pals that write to them frequently. Prison ministries work with several churches around the Florida Conference and other conferences to visit inmates and provide Bible studies at the various prisons. I was not too much interested in knowing just uh, just a little mom and pop prison ministry in prison. But Elder Graham found out that I was doing it and he decided that he wanted a prison ministry program and asked me to start it. Of course, I didn't know what to do or something, so that's how it got started. He wanted, he wanted a conference prison ministry to give every inmate and uh, if family and friends in Florida to have an opportunity to know Jesus and be saved. And that's what it was all about. Yeah, we, we, we really started a little bit before Elder Graham. Uh, Elder Malcolm Gordon was the president. And we were working with a, um independent ministry to begin with. So that kind of gave us our groundwork for when Elder Graham asked us to take over the prison ministry here. So we had Elder Graham and his wife at that time go around with us to the four different regions in the Florida area and do rallies so we could get the people interested into the prison ministry. The biggest heart was to educate the people that God cares for these inmates no matter what they've done, and he wants to save them also. And uh, basically, this was a black ministry. It was not, uh, the Caucasians were not involved because the feeling was that, that only the black people were getting uh, in trouble and being put in prison. But it soon opened up to me uh, that this is both black and white and that we need to have a prison ministry to go deal. Florida Prison Ministries provides halfway homes through Shelter from the Storm, a transitional housing program that provides safe, stable housing for inmates that have been released. These halfway homes offer Bible studies, a 12-step recovery program, counseling, job development, vocational training, and necessary life skills, all within a Christ-centered environment. Through Christmas Behind Bars, an outreach for the Osceola County Jail, the team has organized care packages for inmates. Due to the pandemic, Osceola County has asked for only a thousand packages filled with candy canes, socks, and envelopes. Well, well, let me tell you, you know, you're going into prison ministry and you're dealing with all these inmates and you've got 80 to 100 women there and some of them are pregnant and you need to you need to be able to help them to get where they need to be so they're not only going to be a mother but they need to know what the spiritual aspects of being a mother is and uh and what they're going to do when that child uh, comes when the baby's born in prison the the attitude was 
we got it to a point where within a couple of hours, the baby had to be taken away, uh, and the mama had no way, no way to monitor to uh, manage her child. And a lot of times they come out and they have to go to a family on the outside. So if we get to the inmate on the inside and they we, and we get them to understand that that this is a total ministry, then they can work with the family on the outside and get the family in contact with us so we can teach them also. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big ministry and it's involved in a lot of stuff. And, Well, my vision for prison ministry is that we have a presence in every prison in Florida with seven-day evidence. So we, we need to have a prison ministry that's willing to expand in every prison and in Florida and every neighborhood in Florida. So it's, real, it's really been a blessing for us and, and all the areas that we've been in. God has allowed me to print these uh, newsletters for these inmates every month uh, all these years. And Florida Conference has been there all the time. If I needed something special or Maxine needed something special, they've always been there. I, I can't thank them enough yes. for the uh, support that they've always given to us and to, uh, and to back us up on whatever we did. I will say we just... Because we're getting to an age where we kind of have to step back and um, let younger people come in and, and do things, it would be amazing to see the prison ministry continue forward like it has been, or even greater. The goal of Florida Prison Ministries is to reach each inmate their families, and friends to give them the opportunity to know Jesus Christ and be saved. The Lord is coming soon, and we have been united as one with one mission to finish the work and build his kingdom.